This is a major intuition block that I just see all the time in clients. I've definitely experienced it myself. And today I am showing you how to break free from that because your intuition is everything. You came here with an inner GPS. You know exactly what you need, when you need it, when you tune in, when you live intuitively, the, qu the question and the answer come up simultaneously. The problem and the solution come up simultaneously. So there is no problem. So there are no questions. So this is really, really important to release this block, to live a freer, a more abundant, a simple life. Let's dive right in. This is quite a significant problem. I see people struggling with this all the time when they want to be more intuitive, when they're ready to trust their guidance, when they're getting curious about the process. But here is what stops them. And I want to know in the comments, is this you? Has this ever been you? Do you have those moments like, yep, definitely I'm doing that. This is the fear of missing out. There's this, oh my God, yes. But comes the doubt. The doubt kicks in. Ooh, what if I follow my intuition and then I miss out on this other thing? And I'm going to tell you how to move through this in a moment. Because this is a huge block. The whole point of intuition is to get you in the simplest, easiest, best feeling, fastest way to that which you want. It is really difficult for your guidance, and my guidance communicated this early on, where they're like, ask specific questions, like get clear. It wasn't specific. The word was, I think, direct or something like that. When we ask things, okay, well, help me out in regards with my mother. What, what do you want regarding your mother? We don't ask questions that are clear enough. We don't say what we want clearly enough. And there comes, there are several blocks to this. Part of is, I'm too scared to ask for what I want because I don't want to deal with the disappointment of not getting it. It's too much. I don't want to feel that disappointment. But that only comes up when we don't trust life. That only comes up when we have not done the work to build our own inner trust. Because you trust life when you know that I've got me. Not in the sense of, yeah, I don't need anybody. I have my walls and I'm protected. That's not trust. Trust is when you know, when your inner critic isn't active anymore, when all parts of you feel whole and complete and loved and sure and certain. That I don't self-abandon. I don't criticize myself. I don't speak poorly about myself. I stand up for what I want. I stand up for who I came here to be. And when there's this disconnection, from ourselves, there's also disconnection from life because you are life. So that is one of the elements of this. But the FOMO, it comes up and it blocks the intuition because we don't get clear enough on what we want. If you're there, oh, I'm afraid to miss out, is because you don't have a clear enough target. Because as my guidance pointed out early on, be specific. What do you want? What does it look like? Have the confidence to ask, hey, this is what's important to me. And for some, it may be too difficult. For some, what I suggest to my one-on-one -on -one clients, and this is deeper work, you know, there's only so much that I can do in a short video, but creating this invitation of, okay, I'm giving myself five minutes. Maybe it's completely unrealistic. Maybe it's just stupid. If your inner critic is still active, you might use words like that. This makes no sense. You know, the self-doubt, the negative talk. This is stupid. This makes no sense. But whatever. Let's entertain it for five minutes. What does it look like if you just allowed yourself to want what you want? What would it look like if you allowed yourself to be who you want to be? And that chatter, ugh, who are you to do that? Or it's not realistic. Or how are you planning to do that? Just putting it on the side for a little bit. Five minutes. Put the alarm. Five minutes. And allowing yourself to fully be you in those five minutes. To discover, who am I? What does being me look like? What does being me sound like right now? What does that person want? Getting curious about this life source consciousness moving through you. When we have the fear of missing out, 
is because we're not clear enough on what we want. And because we don't feel the support of life. Choose something. And when that, you know, story kicks in, oh, what, what about the other thing? That's okay. You can choose it later. It's not going anywhere. And we go, of course it does. And time's running out. And that's when you don't trust life. When you know that you create your life, that you co-create with life, with God, life, source, consciousness, when you have enough evidence, and I've seen this in my own life, I've seen this in clients' lives, and you would think it gets easier, it kind of doesn't. A while back, I did this 20 meter free fall and you got the harness and I jumped, oh my God, awesome, adrenaline rush. Let's do it again. Was it easier to jump the second time? Not really. Just 10 minutes ago, I jumped. I know I'm alive. I know I'm fine. I know that was fun. It's still scary to jump the second time. And it's the same with trusting our intuition. You have evidence that life is working out for you. I'm sure you've had those encounters, those things, like the synchronicities that like, you can't make this stuff up. Can you ground in the fact that life's got you? That it's safe to trust. And again, this is deeper work that I do with my one-on-one clients. But opening up to this. And getting so crystal clear on what you stand for, for a particular time period. Maybe it's six months. Maybe it's a year. I do not recommend setting this for less than six months. Committing to this is what I really want. Successful people achieve what they achieve in... um, or rather, they set targets and they achieve them per quarter. One focus, one non-negotiable focus per quarter. If there's more time, great. But if there isn't, this one non-negotiable gets done. And if other opportunities come up, it's not like, oh, okay, let me drop that thing and let me focus on this. No, because there's a commitment for the quarter. And we stick to it. intuition you're receiving intuitive guidance to get to where you want to be you got to be really clear on where is it that you want to be and for that allowing yourself to voice that allowing yourself to want that and hey i get that this is hard i had a good first two years of this work when this happened um when, you know, I mean, like the spiritual shift happened and I didn't ask for it. And I was like, where is this coming from? And life was just opening me up more than I was ready. And I had so much resistance. I remember wanting something and not even being able to voice it to my mentors, to the teachers that I was working with. And I was like, no. And I would kind of say what I wanted. And they're like, in what, in what, in what way exactly? And I would say, that's all I'm ready to say for now. Because even that, voicing that, which was like not clearly defined what I wanted, but at least I had the courage to voice, okay, I want this. Without the specifics, that was already a lot. Because the fear of getting disappointed was so, such a big deal for me. So I understand this can be difficult, but training that, maybe at the beginning just writing it out. Maybe speaking it out. Not to anyone else, but simply to yourself. What do you really want? And on this note... There are free resources below. Make sure to grab the free gift if you have not yet done so. And as always, I am wishing you such a powerful day. Mm